At this point in time, we've looked at a few different operations and vectors. And you know, what have we looked at? We've looked at addition, we've looked at uh, multiplication, subtraction. subtraction, yes. Division. Di well, what would a division of vectors look like? I'm not too sure. Well, that's, 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 well, that's, yeah, so that, that might be a way to do it. Dividing, multiplying by whatever five, dividing by five? I don't know, you have to look into that for me. Um, but we now have a operation that is quite interesting because it's actually unique to vectors. Uh, when we look at vectors, we have a very big emphasis on like algebraic things, but also on a visual thing. Now, I'm going to talk to you about today what we call the projection of vectors. And I'm going to give you the uh, sort of formula, so to speak, first, and I want to talk about it a bit, right? Because I think anytime we look at formulas, it always starts off being like, hey, this is some sort of complicated thing, and let's apply it in a particular situation. That's how I felt when I looked at quadratic formula for the first time. So I'll write this formula down, and you can draw it down for me as well. So I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw this, and I was like, okay, I don't really know what's going on here. There's a lot of sort of letters, a lot of, just a lot of stuff there. But what we can do is we can approach this in two ways. We can approach this like how when I first learned the quadratic formula, in, sen in the sense that we just sort of apply formulas and we find variables. Because if we look at this, we can sort of decipher what's going on here, right? What is on the numerator here? We've seen that before, that's the dot product. What's on the denominator? What does it mean when we have an absolute value? What does that signify? In Just the magnitude. Magnitude. Values. Magnitude, and we're squaring that, right? And then A, well, that's actually a vector itself. So the result of this, the result of what we call the projection, is going to be another vector. Okay, so I'll say that again. The projection of a vector onto another is actually going to be another vector, right? I know, mind blowing, right? The way that we read this, yeah, yeah. Is, there's a particular way that we read this. And it's, we said that this is the projection of B onto A. This is the projection of B onto A. Then why do we have A first? Great question. I like to think of it like this. Why do we have A first, asked Caitlin. I like to think of it like this. Well, this is kind of like a subscript, right? So how I think about it is that we have the projection of B onto the one that's sort of underneath. And that's actually how I want you to think about this visually as well. So I'm not gonna jump into the calculations just yet. I actually wanna jump into the visual aspect of what this might look like. I wanna show you two ways. I wanna show you on GeoGebra, and then I have two sorts of proofs. One is a mathematical proof, I suppose, and one is a more, uh, I wanna call it a creative proof, because I don't really know how else to describe it. So let's have a look at what this looks like first. So bring your attention up here. When you think of a projection, by the way, what do you think of? You think of maybe literally what's happening right now. You think of a projector that is getting some light and just like blasting it somewhere, right? So if I got a torch, for example, and just conveniently I do have a torch. <laughs> if you have a torch and you sort of shine it down from this vector onto another, what do we create? A projection. A projection? Yeah, a light. What, 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 what's going to happen underneath if there was like a real um, thing there that I was shining my light down on? Like when you shine something, what happens? What do you create? Up. It does, this thing lights up. What happens underneath there? A shadow. A shadow, that's right. So you can think of the projection like in real life as the shadow, so to speak. So let's, let me create this projection for you. Wow. Right? And so can you see that this is like uh, what we say is a projection, okay? Some interesting things to note about this, right? We can sort of change these around. So as we move this vector around, what happens to our shadow? It shrinks, right? Yeah, because the light source is always staying on the top there, okay? Right? That's the idea. Which one? Like what if you make you longer than so Caitlin asked, what, do you think, what will happen if you make you longer than me? What do you think will happen? What you, what's your prediction? I don't know, the projection will just get longer. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. There you go, can you see that? Right. But then how is that a projection of you onto V? Because 
It's not on to me. What does that onto really mean? What I think about the onto is I think about all I care about is which one's sort of on top, right? And where it's sort of like where the light source is coming from. So when it's U onto V, it means that the light source is coming from here and then it's going to be shining it down. If it was V onto V reversed it, well, what would it look like? It would probably look something like this. I can't do it on this applet, but it would be like kind of changing where that light source is coming from. I've got another way to show you. Um, let me know if this kind of makes sense again, but I'm always trying to think about things that would make these concepts more tangible, right? So I've got two other ways of showing you. I've got my vectors here. So these are my vectors. These are measuring tapes, right? And let's say I take this guy out and I've got my other vector coming out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, hmm, I should do this. If I do it like this. Now, see, the issue that I had with this before is, oh, listen, you can get the lights for me. Is that I needed multiple hands, right? So I worked out a way to fix that. And so, instead of holding the torch, I wish I had a head torch for this, but I, yeah. Uh, so I have to wear this sweatband. Okay. Oh, there we go. One of us to there we go. Because right, this is cool. Right. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Cover. 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 So let's go with this idea of a vector projection. So I'm, I'm taking these measuring tapes out, and we can see we're creating a shadow here. Oop, let's not knock, knock that one over. All right. Can you get? You probably can't see that, but yeah, that's the idea behind it. And so we'll extend this idea of. I'll move these out of the way. Let's talk about what happens when we sort of change these vectors, right? Like it doesn't actually matter what I do to this bottom one. Because basically, it's this top one that is gonna be changing the projection. I can make this longer, and it will change the projection to be longer. I can make it shorter, and this will be shorter, right? But what happens if I change this vector, for example? It actually doesn't do anything to the projection. Right? I can make this one as long, or as short as I want, right? But the shadow will still always be the same. Can you see that, right? Is the projection just the x component of the vector? Good question. Is it just the X component? We'll go back to, I'm going to come back to this in a second, but go back to this. What do we actually create when we write this projection? We're actually creating another vector itself. So the projection itself, what the projection actually is, is the shadow that's being created. It's the actual vector that's being created. If you think about this shadow here as another vector, that is what the projection literally is. Another interesting thing to think about is what happens, do you think, if I reverse the direction of this vector here? What if I change it to go the other way? <laughs> what happens to the shadow? Nothing. Nothing happens to the shadow. So this one here is really not too important in terms of, from a calculation perspective, what's going to happen to the projection. It's really this one, the one that we're projecting from, which is going to be key to that. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? All right, let's take on. So 